Hey everyone, ready for some more urging, dark urge stuff. Uh, so I gotta sleep because I have no spell slot and we're going down to talk to Ethel. So I thought that we would uh, just have a quick little nap. I'm so glad I found... Wait, it's me. It's Elfira from the Grove. I'm sorry for barging in like this, but... I had to come find you. You've... Well, inspired me. I want to stand on my own two feet. To prove that I can be half the bard Lihala was. I want to join you. To fight by your side. I want to help people. As you've helped me. I've been running since El Terrell. And when we finally arrived at the Grove, we found danger there too. Unless I hide away from the world, I can't avoid it. So I'd rather face it head on with you. Wait, can she actually join your party in this patch? Really? Just like that? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Really? Just like that. All right. But if she reaches for that loot, it's firewood. I won't let you down. I promise. I can't wait to hit the road. Where will we go? Never winter? Oh. Can we go to water deep? <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's take it one note at a time, as my teacher would say. Okay, that's cool. I didn't. There's no option for her to like actually join. Join? Is she just like a camp character? All right, well, let's go to bed. Oh, it's just withers. What does he want? We meet again. I shall be here in thy camp. For whenever thou hast... Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon... Oh, these are the uh, thralls. So you can join your party. If you, like, party members die or you want someone else, like if you want to hire a bard or a sorcerer. Yeah, hirelings. So technically, if you get him, you don't actually need it, the rest of the party, but it's always a choice. You open your eyes with a lurch, and you are not in your bed. You stand above a body which is in a state of gourd. Oh, beyond is it Elfira? The body of that brave girl who earnestly swore to devote her life to your cause. Her blood covers you, and its warmth feels like the embrace of an old friend. Like, why did she do that? your head pounds and aches um well that's wretched <laughs> what a single moment comes to you the flash of abject terror in her eyes blood spilling from her lips no time for last words so nobody heard that no one heard the dark urge literally eating this person in the middle of the night. Wow, they don't call it the dark urge for nothing. There are dozens and dozens of wounds on the corpse. The killer did not stop savaging it even when she was long gone. And Dude. Her dominant arm aches. She ripped her intestines out? Over and over. 
No matter how it appears, the body is there, and her blood is on your hands. Wow. The question flows through your mind. Who are you, really, that you could be guilty of such bitter business? Something wicked must have woken you. The contemptible pervert within must have lavished slash after slash upon the girl. But where, oh, where could that monster have come from? If only you knew yourself better. You don't have much time for reflection now. You need to act. You may only have a few moments before the others awaken and begin to cast blame for the hot sin before you. Uh, we should probably wash her. You scrub yourself until your hands are cold and raw. While your body starts to feel clean, the blood doesn't seem to leave. Oh man, one? What are the what are the odds? Oh, don't I have like high intelligence? There we go. There is no magic binding this blood to your body. Only guilt. You shake your head, and it seems to go away. Only then. If you are fortunate, no soul will be able to know you were behind this murder. You wonder if your misdeed will be noticed. Another waif dead before her time. I wonder how it happened. She was brutalized. The killer knifed her many times after she was dead. Was it you? <laughs> yes, I murdered her. <laughs> Why? Was what? her innocence just an act? I love Alfira. She's like my favorite side character. But. Oh my god. Parasite must be affecting you deeply. The worm in your head has never slept more peacefully. You know in your heart it was something deeper, hungrier. Even if it was the worm, this was peculiar indeed. I'll be watching. An uneasy feeling lingers in the air as the Inquisition departs. You are left alone. With a familiar headache. Is this like the... Like the ball playthrough? <laughs> wow. Well... Uh, I hope her friends don't find out. Let's look at my short rest. Ooh. Man, I was not expecting that at all. That was completely from left field. Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> okay then. They don't call it the Dark Urge for nothing. So we gotta get down there. Let's 
for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. You there? Please, I don't know what's come over these boys. I just want to go home. Stop this. We... We won't ask again. Careful. Don't trust a word out of her mouth. Our sister went to the hag, and we ain't seen her since. Hand over heart, I don't know their sister. I will gladly help you all look for her, though. Enough. Where is she? Bollocks! You were supposed to rush to my defense, love. Fat lot of good you are. Some advice? You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology at the ready. Bye bye now. Bloody hells. She just disappeared. Been seen nothing like that before. She could shoot fireworks out of her backside for all I care. The hag has Rena. It's our sister, Marina. She's. well. She was in a bad way after her husband died. Started saying weird things, like how she was gonna bring him back. Next thing, she's gone looking for the hag. Of all the stupid things to do. And we haven't seen her since. And no good ever came from dealing with a hag. None of this matters, all right? We need to get her back, and fast! You saying we should leave Rena to that monster? Is that it? Hold on, Joel. Let her talk. What would you suggest? Knew it. You're full of it. Thanks for the, um, advice. But we can't do that. We'll head there on our own. You guys are toast. chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. Weird. And that. Oh, everything's changing. Wait, poison apple. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's get rid of that. Stay vigilant. There are traps here. A little bugger. The murderous glare of a red cap, a fey creature known for its bloodlust, greets you. <laughs> that noise. Is the creature pretending to be a sheep? You seize me? <laughs> Nosy, scum-sucking, lice-ridden little ball bag. Get out! Or I bite tongue, eat tongue. Oh, delicious tongue. <laughs> I bleed you. Gotcha. Make many delicious holes. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, you weirdo. Um. To the death. Miss so much in this game to where like I look at reddit posts 
And everyone always complains about how everyone misses every time. Is this a, that's like a roll thing, right? Like, do you miss a lot in D and D as well? Wait, did I lose a turn? Oh, he used hold, didn't he? Wow, I actually hit. Oh, you bugger. Try that. Nice, I actually uh, get a shot. Oh, I forgot to change his class to a ranger. I'll have to do that. Have to keep going. Miss, 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 miss. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm missing so much. Like, why? do to these two acid splash so how does he get attack of opportunities but I don't when he moved There's no diminishing returns on that. Okay, um... Oh, that works well. Oh my god. <laughs> I missed so much. Like 36%. Oh, they're toast. Actually, let's try to go over there. I guess he a fast uh, portal. Fast travel portal. Yep. Enough sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. I need a quick word. Ah, stranger. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. An old hunter's trick. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. You're a monster hunter. 
I'm surprised. I thought all girl were vagrant cutthroats. A mystical and dangerous people. We travel the land, never settling in one place. We steal your chickens, curse your crops, seduce your daughters. Your friend here has heard it all, I'm sure. Now, I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. Alas, I am a simple wanderer. A simple wanderer and monster hunter. But I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. A monster hunter like Geralt? <laughs> Something terrifying, no doubt. Dragon? Cyclops? Kobold? Nothing so dramatic. I'm hunting for a vampire spawn. I fear he's gone to ground. I hope the hag of these lands can help me flush him out. If I can afford her blood price. A vampire spawn? Why? Just so. Vampires are godless parasites. We do not need a reason to destroy them. But in this case, it is a sacred mission from the head of my tribe. She sent me here to capture the beast and return it to her. Capture? And bring it where? Baldur's Gate. My people wait for me there. Under all the smiles, you can feel Astarian's tension. He's coiled like a spring, hand inching towards his weapon. <laughs> There's a lot to know. I've crossed paths with your people before, you know. It wasn't a good experience. What is going on? The girl helped themselves. No one else. Whatever his price, it would have been too much. Trust me, I did us a favor. Bigoted! If you'd seen... No. No. We're done here. Let's go. Damn, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> Poor Gan Gandril. Well. Uh, who wants a crossbow? Lazel. Here you go. Actually, Syrian can have it. This is a heavy. Oh, it's a heavy crossbow. Yeah. Okay, then. I have never had that happen before, where he just goes and knifes him. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is going to come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all, you'd best have one hells of an apology for me, young lady. Oh, the wizard thinks she's smart because she can read. You know, I was gonna give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door, but I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. My brothers, you saw them. They stopped by to pass on their congratulations. Said they'll be waiting for you at home. Uh oh, but why didn't they come in to see me? All they left was a message, which I passed on, didn't I? Don't be stressing. And you, hush! Don't be upsetting the girl with such things. You cheeky thing! Sutton Farm, north of Baldur's Gate. Check if you like. But I think you have bigger problems. That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? Because you stink. 
And I know the stench of Mind Flayer anywhere. I can tell you're almost done cooking. You know, you could turn just like that. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? Ah, good luck with that. But don't you fret, Petal. I'm sure you'll make a very pretty Mind Flayer. Something is off with Auntie Ethel. Time to go. Whoa, what was that? Hello, sweetness. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? Keep your own little nose in your own little dish, Petal. I don't like busybodies. Good luck with that. Should we do some investigation? I want to see where Marina went. Fireplace isn't real. What's hidden behind it? Oh, it's like a mirror. Oh my god, what the hell? What was that? Oh, she's a hag? My feet. What? What path lies before me? I will ascend. Oh my god, she's huge. Bye bye, lovelies. Hag can't have gone far. Oh, she went down there. Look, you are as thick as they come, sweetness. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! The cocky ones are my favorite to chew on. Keep going, Petal, and you'll find out. <laughs> it's, from, it's like getting like some Hansel and Gretel vibes. What is this place? You feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through, not again. A scene appears in your mind. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? Naughty. That's a decade for each. You're mine for 30 more years, Petal. They are left as scabs of life, while she spits on the beauty their death would sow. The door stays silent. Its form flickers, and you realize that the door is transparent. You see the hag, eyes bright with glee, as she sets fire to the door. With a jerk, you're pulled from the vision. The presence within shrinks, begging you not to run through it. Don't look. Don't! I'm going through. What do we got here? Mask of Servitude, Mask of Vengeance. Oh, they look like... Mind controlled? It must be.
Can't have disadvantage. I don't understand how rogue works, really. Like, it just seems it worth it. It just seems... Like, ranger is just easier to use for a Syrian. I don't really understand how disadvantage works. And, you know, sneaking. I think for, like, a action combat game, rogue is probably, like, way better. But for a game like this, I don't know if it works too well. I mean, I, I don't understand it, but that's probably just on me. Okay, how about you go there? Oh, I don't have spell slots? We just rested, though. Never mind, I'm frightened, apparently. Don't make me hurt them. Oh, yeah, that's painful. She's burning hands on you. Okay, we're all frightened, I guess. Ah, those are some nasty curses. Ooh. Do messing attack ranged. This will probably fail, right? 35%. Oh my god, it's lower. And of course, that was a waste of a turn. Okay, let's do... 80. Nice. It just like looped all the way around. Um, I'm gonna go back outside for a sec. I'm gonna sleep and get my spell slots back. I know I need them for the next part. I actually leveled up. of that poor girl you killed from your head. You wonder what she looked like as she died. Squirming, skewered in abject agony. You would have given anything to have seen it. As you jolt awake, too many questions plague you.
when the proud deed of her death was yours, why do you have no recollection of it? Milady? <gasps> Jubilant day! I have found your vile self at last! Oh, what the heck is this? Scaleritas fell! Your loyal and ever adoring butler. I followed you, my dear rotted master. We have been parted so tragically long. <laughs> oh, one hell of a butler. The most unprincipled servant you could hope for. You have always uh, struggled to conduct yourself properly without me. I found you following the stench of that bard. <sighs> she reeked across the coast like a piece of dog mark on the road. My, my, we will be reintroducing necrophilia to your schedule in no time. Anyways, I come once again bearing a part of your dreadful inheritance. The new robes? You earned this iniquitous prize through your great show of exceptional violence the other night. I'm sure Master will be better soon. A fellow of your fine breeding is never down for long. <laughs> I cannot wait until your next act of shameless barbarity. Oh, my saint. So you get rewarded every time you indulge? This work will be wonderful. It will be hard to improve upon what you have already done. I am a great admirer of what you did to the bard's left carotid artery. But I am certain inspiration will strike. Be true to yourself, my lady. You know, I do hope one day that um, Larian allows Alfir to join a non-Dark Urge, like for an actual companion. Or some modder makes it. That'd be awesome. Kind of weird. Oh, well, we have a Tiefling companion, technically. Or lack, but... The Death Stalker Mantle. Oh, it's a cloak. Oh, that's cool. I like that. All right, so we got new classes. We should do a lot better now. Yeah, I'm actually going to swap out Asterion's class. You're free, Marina. You're welcome. You busted! You oh. ruined it! What? You ruined everything! For making everything worse? Ethel was going to bring my husband back. Back from the dead. And now I'll never see him again. Because of you! This... Just a bit longer and my child would have been born. And all this... All this would have been over. Don't judge me. I have nothing. My baby would have been raised in rags. Well, that's wretched. Promise to give this child a good life. More like eat it. Teach them magic even. More than I could have done. I... I think you're right. That's what Ethel always told me. Now I'll have to drag Connor's coffin all the way home. It's the only way this child will ever meet their father. I hope you're happy. Um, I'm pretty sure Ethel would have eaten the baby. Gross. What a terrible mother. Oh my god. <laughs> like she's the baby isn't even born yet. I'll take that. What's that bitter divorce? Shaker. Please go away so I can see what I'm looting. 
Elixirs. Little nasty potions. Oh, Staff of Crones. That's interesting. Oh, it's a green... I'll, I'll wear that. The Ever All-Seeing Eye. Wear some fancy clothes now for a bit. I think she ran out here, didn't she? Yeah, my game's um, lagging out a little bit. There was a Windows update today and it kind of broke stuff. So all my games have been like um, slowing down a lot. Darn Bill Gates. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The Why don't you just live here? In a wheelbarrow of making the journey all over again. <sighs> what? You can. You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back. Bring Connor back. Please. What? What's happening? Why is he still dead? Because he's dead? That's why. Feel something pull at you. The creature yearns for a master. What have you done to him? But oh, this isn't what she promised. I wanted him back, back the way he was. No. I don't even know if he's in there, but he might be. And if he is, I'll find him and bring him back. Thanks, but we'll need more than luck. A bloody miracle, more like it. I'll find a wizard or something. Maybe someone in Baldur's Gate can help us. Connor always said you can find anything in that city. Remember, and thank you, I guess. Come on, love. Let's go. Well, that was a sad end to a tale, wasn't it? Oh, I can't believe I killed Ethel in like one round. I've never ever done that. She always breaks off early. And I got like two turns too? Oh, apparently I didn't grab the key from inside the hut earlier. Well, that's it, I guess. Um, I guess we'll do some goblin stuff next time, guys. Alright, see you around.